Hello, welcome to the second in my series of videos showing you the sounds from the Mellotron M4000D. This is the Mini. Doesn't look very Mini, does it? But it is. Um, yeah, the first video was Sound Card 1, which comes pre installed. The second, uh, Sound Card 2, is installed in the back. So I'm going to take you through all the sounds from Sound Card 2. And the exciting thing about Sound Card 2 is it comes with rhythms, so you'll be able to hear those lovely, uh, familiar melody rhythms, plus a few lovely surprises. Um, so let's get straight into it. I mentioned what it does, how it works in the first video, so I'll put a link um, uh, here right now to that video so you can watch that one as well. And all my Mellotron videos are in a playlist which uh, I'll put up here right now and then I'll leave a link at the end as well and in the description so you can find them all and all. Here are all the lovely things I composed using this magnificent beast. So, first of all, um, again it tells you on the screen where it came from originally. This is two violins from the M400, okay? So that was released in the late 60s, I believe. <laughs> Next up is Two Violins, Yes. Now that's the band, Yes. Um, so they, rec I think, if if I'm right, they recorded this for the Mellotron. Uh -huh. And now Three Violins, oh, that's from the original one, sorry, forget that. I'm not doing the first pack, it's Okay, three violins BB. I'm not sure what BB is, but should have checked. Beforehand. Next is arpeggio violins. Yes, again from the band, yes. slightly different well <laughs> in key but that is different to that obviously okay next up is the cello BB oh, that's deep oh yeah is Cello Bruce. This is Jack Bruce from uh, Cream, a singer and bass player with Cream, who recorded this. No sustain at all. Um, probably meant to be that way. Viola two. I knew a girl called Viola two. Up we have the choir Sabbath. That's Black Sabbath, the band, not the uh, Cupcake Company. I guess at this point someone kicked them in the nuts. Hard to pick out Ozzy and Tony from there. 
Next up is voice one, Jack Bruce. Now this is Jack Bruce's voice. Uh... <laughs> Voice two. Uh... spelling of accordion, isn't it? From the M400. Next up is the bassoon 2 from the M400. up is the clarinet too from the M400 as well. Next up is the flute from the Mellotron M300 which came after the Mark II in 68. So the M400 could have come out in the early 70s, I can't remember. Oboe 2 from the M400. <laughs> Recorder <laughs> from the M400. Saxophone B from the M300. That's a lovely tone. Next up is the tenor sax two from the M400. OK. 
Okay, next up is the um, French horn, played by Jack Bruce. GC3 played uh, brass. GC3 brass. I thought it said Bruce <laughs> from the M400. Sounds trombone B from the M three hundred. Clashing notes. Now I did a video, um, another video with the Roxy sound effects and the Sabbath sound effects. So I'll leave a link up here to that one. And the tangerine SFX as well. There's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, eight of those. Yes, two, three. And so if you want to hear those, there's a video up here with those. All right. Now this is Crotalis by Wilco from the M4KD. I'm guessing that's uh, Jeff Tweedy Wilco. The Dulcimer, again, by Wilco. Next up we have the Feedback Guitar, High, again, by Wilco. guitar feedbacks and then there's the low one so if you don't have a guitar an electric guitar and you want some feedback in your songs then actually it's a lot cheaper to buy a guitar than it is to buy the middle trust so forget that here's the marxophone by Rami another contributor Except it's the Optican by Rami. Now the Optican is another instrument like the Mellotron and Chamberlain, which is really spectacular. It comes with these big sort of floppy disks that you insert into the uh, machine like down here. And um, there, there's more Optican sounds on cards. Is it three or four? I can't remember. Maybe both. <laughs> sound. Uh, here's Orchestra Sabbath. Oh. 
wine glasses from the M400. Chord. I've decided by the way I'm not going to do the rhythms in this video so I know I said at the beginning but it's going to be another video because the phone's running out of charge and it takes a while to get through those here is help and still from Remy again Remy's back the piano high from the M300. Lovely. What's it like up here? Ba -ba -bum -bum. Piano low. Glockenspiel from M400. Glockenspiel 80 from the M400. Pitch, can you? Okay, remember this is Pink Floyd, Glockerspiel JK. Gorgeous. 
Because there's a timpani there as well. As you can hear. You should mention that. Oh, that's just a timpani, okay. Symphony hits from M400. No vibrato from the M300. I'm sure I heard someone in the background saying, Cha, there. Maybe it was me, subconsciously. Cha. Okay, xylophone from the M400. It's not a xylophone. It's more of a... So if you're making skeleton videos, this is the perfect thing. Oh. <laughs> okay, ducky. Um, next up is the Spanish guitar from the N300. Okay, okay, we've got to the rhythms now. You recognise that, but that's gonna that's gonna be in another video, I guess, because my phone's running out of charge. By the way, that's the intro to Bungalow Bill by uh, the Beatles on the White Album from '68. But the rest of the keyboard plays this, this wheezing sort of accordion sound. They're chords, you see, so from here they're chords. So it's hard to play chords because they are chords. back with another video with the rhythms uh, if I've already done it then there'll be a link to up here and if I haven't then <laughs> look out for it subscribe so you don't miss it and you'll see all my other videos check out my Mellotron playlist here somewhere and uh, another video on the Mellotron here this is my channel subscribe hit like uh, share comments be a friend I'll see you soon for another video bye bye